Okay. Hey there. I am, today I'm going to do, it's called an Elden Home Kit. And that is um, going to show me what my blood type is. One of those things I've always wondered and never known. So I got this on Amazon. It was six or seven bucks or something like that. So not a, not a lot of money. Um, but I'm going to do it and it should only take a couple minutes. And then I'll know what my blood type is. So in this kit you get, it says one Elden card, one cleansing swab, one automatic lancet, one bag with four Elden sticks, one plastic dropper, and a constructions for use. So let's open it up and see what it says. It comes with this little thing, blood typing kit. And I think that actually might show up backwards for you, so sorry about that. Um, okay, you need a pen and a glass of water. Oh, I guess I had better get myself a glass of water. I don't know how much water, but I'll grab some. <laughs> Forgot I got water right here. So, unless I gotta do something in a clear glass, in which case I can just pour some of that in there. And it says, you should know your Alden card is delivered in a moisture-proof envelope. Once it's exposed to the air, it must be used within the same day. This kit can be used only once. Do not use any of the accessories coming in contact with the blood for more than one person. Perform the test at room temperature. Wash your hands before and after your blood test. And when you're done, dispose of it. Blah, blah, blah. And then here it's going to break down the eight simple steps which it tells me to fill in the Elden card, enter the information for the person being tested. Let's see what that looks like. I assume that's in this little thing. This would be the Elden card. And then when you pull it out, it looks it looks like this. Not very exciting, but I'm going to see the information. It just wants my name. I suppose that's so that I can, if you're doing more than one person in the same household, it, you can tell whose is whose. And then prepare it. It says, fill the water dropper from the glass of water and place one water droplet in the center of each of the four rings. Okay. So you do need to put a little bit into this glass, out of my big glass. And then in here is, oh. uh, let's see. That's it. Little water dropper. Squeeze it into water, and then it. You gotta get a squeeze a little harder to get it full. I actually need it full. Okay, water droplet or dropper, and prepare the lancet. Remove the colored cap, slowly twisting and pulling until it comes loose, and the needle will remain hidden. I don't know which one is the cap, but. Twisting and pulling. Oh. Okay. And it says, uh, prepare the fingertip. Soak your ring finger in warm water for two minutes to soften the skin. The skin, dry the skin and disinfect with the disinfectant wipe. I just got out of the shower. It's warm here. I'm pretty sure my skin is soft. It's, uh, it's currently 82 degrees in the house, so it's pretty warm. So it just gives you a little alcohol swab or a little thing. So you take, clean the fingertip. Good and clean. And then place the tip of the lancet against the side of the fingertip. 
and press it firmly into the fingertip to release the short single-use needle, it will automatically retract, retract after the breaking the surface of the skin. I'm excited about this part. Eek. Ow. All right, that worked. A little bit of blood. So you're supposed to squish it out. I'm a bleeder, so I don't got to do very much. It says, massage your finger to press toward, and then you use, where's my little baggie? Oh. So you get these little things. And it says, um, transfer blood droplets to the Elden card. Hold the blood drop above the Elden stick and take care not to smear the blood on your fingertip. Place the blood droplet in the center of the ring where you placed, oh wait, I better start with this over. Hold the blood, take care not to smear blood, trans I guess I better prepare my Elden card. I didn't do that. Place one water droplet in the center of each of the four rings. So each of the four rings here. One, two, three, four. And then Hold the blood drop above the Elven stick. Okay, like this. Um, place blood droplet in the center of the ring where you first placed the water droplet. It says, transfer a blood droplet to each of the remaining three rings using a new Elden stick. Stir and spread each Owens ring. Okay. I should be showing you this. Maybe I can. It says to use the whole thing, but keep it in the circle. Okay. New drop of blood. I'm just going to do the same thing on the rest of them here. I guess I should have made it bleed a little extra. I'm running out. Okay. It says number three. And finally. Kind of gross to show you the bleeding. And then the last one. Okay. And now it says to rotate. Uh, the blood will begin to interact with the special coating. To make sure the process works, you must tilt and rotate the Elden card for 40 seconds. Hold it upright for 10 seconds to let the blood flow downward. And then rotate it 180 and hold it for another 10 seconds. Okay, holding down, oops, sorry, holding downwards. It's been probably 10 seconds, and it says to go this way for 10 seconds. Not exactly counting, but I'm going to guess we're going to get it pretty close. That's about 10 probably, right? It's crazy how it can stay inside that little ring.
And then again, I got to do a 180, make sure it hits all four corners of this little thing. And then it says, let it uh, dry at room temperature and then use the chart to the right to interpret your test results. All right. So I'll let this sit here and dry. Then it says on here, each ring's special coating will interact with your red blood cells. Depending on your blood type, your cells may cluster into a grainy structure called an, uh, I don't know what that word is, in one or more of the first three rings it shows. And what it means, the presence or, or absence of that word tells your blood type, possible combinations, um, So if your Elden card looks like this, my goodness, I don't know how to read this, but it's not dry yet anyway. So. Those are the, the possible combinations of what the card will look like when it's all dry. And then that will help me determine what my blood type is. I don't know how long it takes to dry. But uh, uh, once it's dry, then I'll let you know. All right, it's not completely dry, but I'm pretty sure that um, that based on this one being grainy looking, it says anti-D. It's gross to show you up, up close, so sorry about that. I don't know why it won't focus. But based on that one, I'd say that it matches with this one here, the O positive. That's my guess. Pretty common. It's like the most common blood type out there so I guess I'm just kind of ordinary but anyway that's kind of fun didn't take much didn't hurt and was inexpensive so if you're ever curious what your blood type is a great way to do it again it's called this this here if it's backwards I apologize it's called Eldon home kit HKA 2511-1 and uh, and I got it on Amazon and it was it's either six something or seven something, but it was really cheap. Anyway, it was less than $10. Totally worth it. It was fun to see. All right. Good luck. Put in the comments below what your blood type is or if you know. And if you don't know, will you be trying one of these kits? Okay. Bye for now.